All right, so here's the thing. Um, for some reason, I was pretty low energy in this video and I just wasn't, you know, on one, you know what I'm saying? But I hope you still enjoy it because I love skincare and it's still a good video, I think. So, you know, enjoy. <laughs> Hey guys, I need some chapstick. <laughs> so, I am back in Oregon. So, I thought I would take advantage of my parents' bathroom because every time I come here, I need to use this bathroom because it's just beautiful and all white and everything and I love it. So, last year I did one of these videos exactly like this and my skincare routine has changed a little bit. So, I thought I would make a new video back here and show you guys what I do. So, this is just what I do in the morning and I have a separate skincare routine for the nighttime. So, let me know if you guys want to see that. Give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment down below because I will totally do that for you guys. First of all, I love to apply my favorite lip balm ever. This is Lip Sill. I've talked about it a lot on my channel and it's amazing. Like seriously, the best lip balm you will ever put on your lips. It's so good. And you can get it at Walmart. I don't know anywhere else you can get it, but I know you can get it at Walmart, so really good. I just got out of the shower and I always wash my face while I'm in the shower. So the face wash I use is a milky jelly cleanser. I use this every single morning. It's just so gentle and it smells good and it feels good and I just love it so much. That's my go-to cleanser. I've bought two bottles of this so far. Right after that, I'll use my Milk Makeup Cooling Water. This feels so good on your skin, especially in the morning when your under eyes are pretty puffy and it really does work. Ooh! Then after that, I will moisturize my face because I can't stand to not moisturize my face. So lately I've been using the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This is an incredible moisturizer. I've tried so many different moisturizers and this one is definitely the best out of all of them. Here's what I mean by that. First of all, the way you pump it out is cool. That's pretty cool. Of course it feels good on my skin as any moisturizer would. It glides onto my skin and I can just feel how like richly moisturizing it is. And I always drag it down my neck. It's definitely on the more pricey side, but if you're looking for a very good moisturizer, I highly, highly recommend this. After you apply it, it doesn't feel greasy or anything because sometimes when I apply moisturizers, it feels like it's just kind of sitting on my skin and it's kind of sticky and greasy sometimes, but this just feels very moisturized. And as you let it sit, it literally just like sinks into your skin and your skin will feel baby soft. It's so good. So I've been using this moisturizer a lot lately because I haven't been wearing makeup for a good week. But when I am wearing makeup, my go-to moisturizer is this one. This is Glossier's priming moisturizer and it's the rich version because there's a regular and then a rich. This one's the rich and I just love it because it's a good moisturizer and at the same time it's priming your skin for makeup. So every single day, makeup or no makeup, I will use this. And this is my Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. And I'm sure you've seen this on YouTube before because it's so good. Everyone talks about it. So I just take a little bit. A little goes a long way by the way. And I just put it under my eyes. I feel like it really brightens under my eyes and it feels really good. It feels really cooling and as you can see it's pretty like shiny looking and I actually really like that. My favorite concealer, the stretch concealer by Glossier, it does the same thing. It makes it like shiny. I just love it. I don't know why but I love it. So that is pretty much where I leave it every single day. That's all I do to my skin in the morning. But products that I use change every now and again so here are a few more of my favorite products. I haven't talked about this for so long and I've seen comments of you guys wondering where this is in my my life which is so funny I just don't really use it that much I love facial sprays but I just haven't been using this but it smells great facial sprays are the best they're fun they feel good refreshing 
Something else I'll use if I know I'm gonna be going out in the sun is the Glossier Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen Plus. I've been using this for so long. It was in my last video that I did in this bathroom. It has SPF 35, which is kind of a lot. I love it because it's totally invisible, which is like the best. I love that. And it also protects against like pollutants in the air and stuff. That's basically everything that I do. I'm gonna be doing my everyday makeup routine pretty soon because I feel like it's perfect for the summertime, so. Look out for that. If you like this video, you're probably gonna like my other videos too. So, sure. definitely subscribe. I post every single Friday. Shout out to the McBabe of the week. Thank you so much for your post. I love you guys so much. I think that's what I have to say. Hope you guys enjoy this aesthetic. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you did, comment Kleenex because my tripod right now is two Kleenex boxes, so. Give this video a like on your way out, and I love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> you can never do wrong and speed up. I'm literally gonna cry. <laughs> He's purring. I fall in love too easily. I fall in I fall in love too terribly hard